Today we're going to install a pinlock fog resistant lens into the HJC IS Max 2 helmet face shield. The first step is to remove the face shield from the helmet and you do this by uh, opening the face shield and you'll notice this little black lever on each side of the helmet where the face shield connects to the helmet and you push that down and then rotate the face shield as far as it will go up on the top of the helmet and then it will allow you to pull out that side of the face shield and of course once you get one side out you do the exact same thing on the second side. Once you have the face shield off of the helmet, it's a good idea to give it a really, really good cleaning uh, inside and out, but especially on the inside because that's where the pinlock shield is going to be uh, mounted to. Now, you'll notice that there is a little film, a protective film. It gives it kind of a yellowish appearance if you're installing a clear shield, and you want to leave that film on until after you've installed the pinlock uh, shield. You'll also notice there's like a silicone rubber all the way around this pinlock shield. It's a little raised edge and that will be in contact with the inside of your face shield. So you want to make sure that you install the pinlock so that that silicone rubber seal is contacting the inside of your face shield to create a seal. I think the secret to installing this, you've got to first, you've got to kind of bend this uh, shield out as flat as you can get it. And I'm going to have to, I'm kind of trying to videotape this while I'm doing it, so it makes it a little more difficult. So I'm going to kind of use my chest. Normally I would hold this up to my chest, but I'm going to kind of lean over the table here. Now I'm going to clip uh, this corner into the first pin down here. And then the way to get the other clip to fit into the other pin is to kind of bend this pinlock shield the opposite direction that you have your face shield. If you try to do it with it laying flat, it won't go. So if you try to do it like this, you'll never get that pin to fit in. So what you have to do is flatten this out as much as possible. I'm trying to do this without getting fingerprints on my, on my face shield. <clears throat> and you have to pop this the opposite direction like that and then fold it in. And now it's in place. And once it's in place, you can then remove this plastic protective cover. And now the pin lock is installed. Okay, so in the previous video, you could you probably saw a little bubble uh, down here on on one end of this uh, pinlock shield. Uh, I didn't even notice it until I went back and watched the video. But I was able to come in here and just, all I did was flatten out this shield again and you just popped it, I just popped it down and it popped right into place so that this whole seal around the edge is now uh, flush with the face shield as you can see. There's no more <clears throat> bubbles or gaps or anything like that. So I just wanted you to see what it looks like installed. And you also need to take a look at which of those little uh, slots this thing fits into. Because it's not real intuitive how you do this. And the videos, some of the videos on online really aren't very clear. You just want to make sure that little silicone seal around the edge is, is flush with the face shield itself, not sticking toward the inside of the helmet, but toward the outside. So to see the pinlock shield in action, the day after I installed mine, I did this moto vlog, and somebody pointed out that you could still see some fogging on the face shield. You'll notice it right there. But what I want you to also notice is there's no fogging in the area where the pinlock shield is. In fact, I didn't even know that that edge of the face shield was fogged up until uh, somebody online pointed it out to me. So I had complete visibility uh, through the area where the pinlock shield was installed, but you do see that fogging around the edge, and that shows you that the pinlock does actually work. 